Let's talk about one of those great events right now. Yeah, how about the, the Iowa's largest arts and crafts show? It is coming to town this weekend, and Tom Callahan joining us, bringing in the show. This is a yes. big deal, isn't it, Tom? Yeah, it is a big deal. We've been doing it for 13 years at the state fairgrounds. After they built that building that they have, that great varied industries building, mm -hmm. I had my eye on that as they were putting that building together, and I thought this would be a great place to do an arts and crafts show, so that's what we've done. So what kind of arts and crafts are we talking about? We're talking uh, lawn and garden art made of copper stainless steel metal we're talking oak furniture uh, wine barrel furniture I don't know if you've ever heard of wine barrel furniture mm -hmm. we've got a gentleman that comes that uh, has a brother that lives out in Napa Valley California and he ships him all these wine barrels and he makes furniture out of those wine barrels and he's been at our show several times so a lot of the listeners are gonna recognize that, recognize he's, he's, that. He's, he sells a lot of that product that sounds interesting I've never heard of that there's just a lot of different things. Yeah, I, I, I'm always trying to overcome the the uh, the thought that a lot of people have right away of an arts and crafts show that's grandma knitting a pair of socks <laughs> Welcome to the Archie Craft yeah. Show. We'll be done here with yeah. this in a couple of minutes. That's what I always yeah, have no, to battle. This is anything and but. It is anything but. There's 325 groups of families that come out. They're all they're entrepreneurs. They make this product. Right. Uh, I'm going to age myself here a little bit. The um, Walmart used to have an advertisement that everything in the store was made in the United States of America. Mm -hmm. And now, if you go into Walmart, can you find anything in, no. at Walmart that's made in the United Not States? America. Well, here you will find everything is made in the United States of America. These people all make the product that they're selling. And it's, it goes from a wide range. of It's jewelry, it's it's old furniture, it's pottery, it's paintings, it's Where are the prints. crafters coming from? Are they just here locally? Uh, or are they I from think it's eight over? states. Eight I counted states. eight states this morning. It's all okay. the neighboring states, obviously. We've got somebody from Arizona. We've got uh, somebody from Utah. It's a smattering of other states. But it's mostly all the neighboring states because they travel here with their RVs, their, their campers, their, you know, they come from a distance but I think the longest is usually it's about eight hours is usually the longest anybody wants to drive because they can go to other shows it isn't just my shows they can right. go to there's other promoters out there doing arts and craft shows but they love Des Moines they really love the state of Iowa I don't know how many people have told us from from Nebraska or Minnesota that their product doesn't sell well in those states but they come into Iowa Iowa loves arts and crafts That's how many people do we expect to be to attend the event well if the weather had been good mm -hmm. uh, two years ago we had <laughs> two years ago with our best crowd was 15,000 last year we had 14,000 and the thing that we have at this show is we don't charge anybody twice. That's important to me. I, you don't, we don't change any of the exhibitors are at the show. It's the same exhibitors if you come Friday night, Saturday, or Sunday. To charge somebody three times to get in all three days of the show, I think is a joke. Right. They have a hand stamp out of the state fairgrounds. It's, it's, a, it's a great ink. It's a number 52 ink, they call it, that stays on your skin for four days. And I will challenge anybody. If you get a stamp on Friday night, you'll still have something on your skin that they'll allow in on Monday. If we had a show on Monday, you'd get in on Monday based on what we stamped so on So you don't Friday have to night. keep paying if you want to go back more than no. once. In case you, you see pay, something and you, and you want to come back to follow me and pick time. it up. And I have to tell you the reasoning we're doing this is because I think if a woman's sitting at a kitchen table on Saturday morning or Sunday morning and she sees that stamp there on her, on her forearm or hand, She'll start thinking, I could go back to that show again, couldn't I? Right. I, could, I could go call my mom or my sister and come down and shop again and not pay to get in. So And at, the, we fairgrounds, and at the fairgrounds, another benefit, uh, you're not paying for parking either. Right. Again, that's huge. Mm -hmm. uh, we have another show that we do at the Unidome in Cedar Falls where they pay to park. and. You could just, when they started that about 10 years ago, and our crowd just dropped dramatically. From one year where it was free parking to the next year it was paid parking. Wow. The, the public does not want to pay to park. They pay to park, they pay to get in, they pay for their crafts. And one right. guy said, I'm not paying three times to get a product. Right. So those are those are key points yeah this yeah. is a lot of fun you're in a big building a nice open area that has heating so it's heated you know yes. what you can come in <laughs> we have wonderful people that know how to take care of the roadway so hopefully you can make it over and now check what are out. the hours of the event uh, well tonight it's five to nine and we're not expecting much tonight tomorrow it's nine to five and su sunday it's ten to four um we used to do not. We used to not have this show on Friday night. It used to be a Saturday Sunday show when we first started out. But the crafters talked us into going on Friday night. So this is not going to be a horrible situation for us. Friday night's going to be probably a loss, but uh, Saturday and Sunday we expect to really go great. Sure. Wonderful. Yeah. But uh, you said the the majority of the snow, Jason, for today will be when it, it should be done before midnight. So I, I really have plenty I of time for them to get out and work the, the yeah. uh, roads. Well, what uh, we're going to do tomorrow. to make it easy for the public also is we have two shuttle buses that are working Saturday. So you've got that whole great big north lot way north of the grandstand. Yeah, the behind the racetrack. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we have two shuttle buses serving that area. And so even if there's, I mean, you can't, you're not going to be probably able to park in close if you don't get there right away on Saturday. But we're we're going to pick you up almost right at your car out in that 
parking lot. Two shuttle buses are just making a continuous. Oh, that's trip. pretty neat. Yeah. That's a good idea. Uh, it's, it's about a five minute to eight minute swing for them to go right around and make a loop all the way around. There's no backing up of the bus. They just continue in a circle around that area and come back down to the front of the of the Verity Industries building. So if, if grandma doesn't want to walk three blocks, she doesn't have to walk. She has to walk about 60 feet, really, is what she's got to walk. To okay, and the shuttle bus. bus is for tomorrow? It's it's for tomorrow. It's, it's Friday night and Saturday. And we don't do it on Sunday, but Friday night and Friday, Saturday. Friday, so tonight, too. Right. Perfect. Mm -hmm. You're going to get a lot of people out there tonight. Yeah, well, I, I hope. Think you will. I, I think hope. You will. Wonderful. Again, the Iowa's largest arts and crafts show, Fairgrounds, tonight, tomorrow, and Sunday. Take advantage of it. Free to park. Seven bucks gets you in for the whole weekend, not just one day, for yep. the whole Whole weekend. So mm -hmm. go tonight, check things out, then go back a second time or third time. Yes. Or a Tom, yeah. thank you so much. Thank Thanks you for being much. here. You bet. Thank you.